welcome to my channel if you are new welcome back if you're one of my og subscribers so in today's video i will be showing you guys how to remove uv dtf from your cups if you're someone like myself i've messed up on a ton of cups with the uv dtf because you know once you apply it onto the cup you cannot back out you cannot like redo it if you mess up you mess up and i have messed up on a few cups that i personally kept for myself and for my daughters to use and i wasn't able to sell it because it was already you know messed up with applying it wrong or it cracked when you try to peel it because you know it could be very like it's a, like a hit or miss type of deal with um the uv dtf right so one of my good friends told me about this hack and I wanted to try it out for myself and I already have tried it out on this will be the third cup. Um, the hack works and it's super easy, super convenient. It's not that expensive, right? The only thing that I personally purchased was the Goo Gone um, residue remover and I bought it at my local supermarket for like about $5. Um, so that's going to be one of the things that you have to use. You also have to use some boiling water and some dish soap. It doesn't have to be any specific dish soap. The one I'm using is the Ajax, um, I believe it's charcoal and lime or something like that. So you guys will see it um, further out in the video. And I, I'm showing you guys step by step um, the whole process. So if you have messed up on any cups, this video is here to save you and if you decide that you want to try this hack at home and it works for you don't forget to leave a comment down below so that i can know that you used it and how it works for you so without further ado let's jump right into the video so this is one of many cups that i've messed up on but no problem entirely now i know this hack and now i'm able to use it on my cup so i have the water boiling and i, I did add already some soap in there and the last step will be using the goo gone adhesive remover to remove any residue from the cup you will also need to use a squeegee for this method and once the water is boiling you want to remove it from the stove put your cup in the in the pot let it sit there for a few minutes so that it can soak up all the heat and soap and then you can test it out by using the squeegee if you feel like it needs more time in the water all you have to do is just put it right back to sit it in the pot so that's exactly what i did and then now you see me using the squeegee to squeegee out all the wrap from the cup and it takes a few minutes again if you still need more time with it being soaked in the water you can do just that and make sure that every time you wipe down like you squeegee down the cup you want to take off all the wrap from the squeegee so you can like just tap it in the water you can use like a paper towel um, because it will get a little bit messy so as you can see i'm still like trying to see which parts is easier for me to start squeegeeing down and you want to be gentle you don't want to like do too fast or you know you don't want to mess up your cup so if you need more time guys just put it right back in the water so as you can see it's easily like sliding off now and again, this is my third time doing this method, this hack. It really works. And I'm so happy my friend told me about it because I was just like, I have so many cups there that I messed up on because, you know, sometimes once you place the wrap the wrong way on the cup or too fast or you peel too quick, you can mess up the design. So like I said, using the UV DTF wraps is a good idea, but it's also like a hit or miss with this. Like now that I know that I can be able to save my cups versus either throwing it out or just using it for myself i was using it for myself because i did not want to throw it out because like that's you know supplies that you invested in so you can actually save a cup and even if you don't mess it up if you want to do like a whole new design into your cup you can be able to just do this method and apply a, a new ubdtf wrap onto the cup okay so as you can see i'm still squeegeeing everything out from the cup and i'm tapping along the way in the hot water to remove the excess amount on the squeegee from the wrap so that it can fall into the pot. And so this is almost the final project of the hack. It's completely like almost off. I, st I still have a little bit to work with. But once that's done, I'm gonna show you guys how to use the Goo Gone adhesive remover. So as you can see, completely gone, but now there's a lot of residue from the wrap onto the cup still. And thank God for this Goo Gone <laughs> adhesive remover because i'm like okay this hack worked but now what's next so all you do is literally spray on the cup um and after you leave it on for a few minutes you're going to go ahead and re um, wipe it down with the cloth so you want to just spray everywhere you see the residue on and just let it sit there and let it do its thing for a few minutes if you have a white cloth or a paper towel i suggest the white cloth because it's going to be easier to remove 
After you let it sit down for a few minutes, you're going to go ahead and wipe down with the white cloth first. It has to be dry, so do not wet the cloth. So wipe it down all the way. And excuse if the video gets like a little blurry because the camera was losing its focus, but I'm just wiping down everything before I go ahead and wash it with warm water and soap to remove all the oil and all the residue from the cup. And the, I was just scraping away a little part there that didn't get squeegeed out completely, but the oil allowed it to get soft enough for me to be able to take it out with the cloth. And there you have it, guys. Completely done. Completely brand new. You can do whatever you want with the cup now. I'm going to be adding a new wrap. Um, if you do this hack, let me know in the comments below. And I'm so happy that I was able to learn this hack from my friends and be able to use it on my own cups and help you guys too.